So, um, here we go again. This will be uh, uh, the third dig of season two. Um, been asked, why don't you do something along the floor? So, floor is easy. Tom Brown. Love Approach. Funkin' for Jamaica. New York version. I want to hear that album. Something about Tom Brown and that I, I, you know I like him. Pierre Molion. Oh, Gong! Gong Live. Gong are great. I love Gong. And Live could be interesting. Two copies of that. That's interesting. 12 inch. Single Sampler 1. Oh, right. So this is a... This is some form of promotional... For promotion use only. Hot Chocolate. White Snake. And Racy on one side. Jermaine Jackson, Diana Ross is upside down, wow. And Ozone Walk On. And they're all radio edits, but that's that's an interesting... No. Jackson Brown, no, no thank you Jackson. Sharp Cuts, new music from American bands like The Alley Cats, The DBs, The Fast, The No. Suburban Lawns, Billy... Th I've never heard of any of these people. Soul Kiss by the what's so what is this now they all look very new a or new wave don't they no do we care i don't i, I don't hear anyone caring Algero, no Live langer and the boxes splash um i don't know who they are don't care not not feeling it sheila and b devotion <gasps> spacer the album with spacer and look that is B Devotion and Right. What a find. Culture, Baldhead Bridge, Culture What? Typical um obscure reggae nonsense. I think Eric Thornton did something on it. This is produced by E.T. and Joe Gibbs. I don't know what this is. Culture, Baldhead Bridge. Me. Okay, we'll have a go. It's probably interesting. They look happy enough. Who's this? Free poster. Musical Shapes, Carlene Carter. Okay. Well, we know the poster's going to be stolen. Dave Edmonds played guitar. It's on what record? I get... No. Get the feeling. She looks a bit rockabilly. Um, um, no. Boss Brothers, stalling for time. That's kind of a... How do we know this? Cover painting by Beryl Cook. She looks very... Her work's very like him, huh? the Irish guy. Um, no. Beat Boys in the Jet Age by the Lambrettas. No way. And Cortina Mark II is on it. The Lambrettas. What was their thing? Wow. That's a kind of a... Um, I've, I've, I've got a... I kind of want to hear the Lambrettas album. But that doesn't have the hit on it, so they might have been over that. Secret Policeman's Bald Music. Eight tracks for 199. Tom Robinson's on it. Pete Townsend does Pinball Wizard. Tom Robinson, 67. John Williams. Da, 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 da. Interesting. All proceeds go to Amnesty International. Promo not for sale. No. Thanks for that. Oh, stamped. Foil not for sale. The Incredible Shrinking Dickies. Never played. No. Sorry, guys. You you failed to interest me. Kid Creole and the Coconuts? Really? Uh, Michael Zilka presents Kid Creole and the Coconuts. Mr. Softy, the cast of the... So this is a very early Z album. I've never heard, so I want to hear what they were at. Bloodstone, Lullaby of Broadway. Another by Broadway. Yeah, don't know what this is. Never heard of them. Produced by Mike Vernon for Crystal Jukebox. Don't know what that is. Don't care. I know I'll regret putting that back. Um, Bert Junch. <sighs> Strolling to Elizabeth. Ah, oh, stop. Play. Children of the Sun. The Sally Angie featuring Sally and Mike Oatfield. Really? I think we can shed some more light on this. Where's my light? Hey, a bit better. Um, no. Hang on, though. Sally and Mike Oakfield featuring them. So, it, Mike Oakfield did play on this, and it's on Logo. Do we care? 
Mike Oakfield album with millions of tracks on it. John Renborn, another melody. No, no thanks, John. No offence. This is few Ralph McTell and Spiral Staircase. I, I think we know what Ralph was into at that time. No. And more Ralph McTell. And this has got a lovely textured sleeve, you can see. Way and Bar. Who were Way and Bar? John Ottaway and Wild Willie Barrett. Body Talk? Do you think? What do you think? No, it can't be the one we know and love. Ella Fitzgerald. Oh, Solar 12. My Girl by the Whispers. Backed with Olivia Lost and Turned Out. It's from their Headlights album, 78 being the production date. Any clues? Seem to be album versions. No. Milestone. My Ideal by Sonny Rollins. 12 inch single? Sonny Rollins? Harlem Boys by Sonny Rollins. I want to hear this. Slay Day. So this is... This is what now? Slade. It's, it, 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 yeah, it's a 12 inch of Slade. Six tracks for the price of, for 149. Awesome. 10 years after, who are super awesome. Is it live? Because you know they were so good live. What was the thing they were at? Isle of Wight Festival? Vital Vinyl, Volume 1. Only 259. Featuring Frankie Miller and Darlin. David Dundas, Channel 4, David Dundas and Jeans on. David Dundas, Pandora's Box, Procol Harum, meh. Leo said the show must go on. I'm sure it does, Leo. That's awesome. Rory. And it's a pickwick of Rory. So only the cheapest quality. Detroit Spinners. Merkin my way back to you. The monochrome set. A DIN disc record. Wow. It's it's the album. And as we know, the monochrome set tried very, very hard and failed equally as hard. Queen the game. Look at this. Look at this. Play the game. Another one bites the dust is on it. So this was their super disco album. And it's very shiny. I'm sure there's no mysteries there. Jermaine's album, Let's Get Serious, eh? Burning Hot is on it. Well, there's only three tracks on side two. Do we care? Who played on it? Stevie Wonder played on it. I don't think we give a shit, do we? Really? Pat Benatar. Good God. Hi, Pat. Pat looks like she's been doing a lot of partying. Rated X. So who worked on this with her? The band members are... Neil Geraldo, Glenn Alexander Hamilton drummed. Glenn Hamilton, really? No. Sham69 had an album. The Game is on it. No. Not interested in Sham69. Jimi Hendrix, Nine to the Universe. Okay. Oh, live stuff. Uh, okay. So, Record Plant, Hit Factory, Record. They're studios, though. Really? Ah, uh, Okay, Motown story, the first 25 years. All that shit that we know off by heart. This is a limited edition Motown story, the first decade. So what was this? First 25 years and then the first decade and the boxes burst. Well, you know, all of this stuff is going to be pretty grim. Oh, it's an intro by Barry Gordy Jr. So there's some form of commentary on it. Do we care? Ain't a mountain high enough six minute version? The Donny Hathaway live, you say. The word is out. Duh, 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 duh. Voices, blah, blah, blah. The ghetto. <laughs> 12 minutes long. Well, we know the ghetto. Um, oh. Voices inside, everything is everything. 13 minutes 40. We're having that. Maria Mul... Who? Muldor. 
specially imported and 10p tax paid upon it because it was specially imported. So what's so cool about this? Ed Green Dr Syndromes Synthesizer. I'm seeing, seeing lots of those magic words I love, but I'm not feeling 26 tracks on the bloody thing. Portrait of Stevie Wonder. Ooh, it's ooh, psychedelic. No. Credence Clearwater Arrival Live. Penetration Moving Targets. Don't know who Penetration are. Future Days. Lead guitar, guitar, guitar. Too much fucking guitar, guys. Randy Van Warmer. Terraform. Okay. Any clues here? Humanity something or other. Very spaced out. Beatsville. Well, it doesn't... No. And 20 original hits. Hit Machine. Featuring Thin Lizzy. Maxine Nightingale. John Sebastian. The Bellamy Brothers. Another people we don't give a fuck about. Oh, Sabbath. Greatest hits, though. Paranoid, Iron Man, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Soul City. 20 original Soul hits. Soul City Walk by Archie Bell and the Drells. Saturday Night, Earth, Wind and Fire. Friends by Simon. This is obscure. Why is that there? Okay. We have this. Cool and the Gang's Open Sesame. This is a nice little album. Disco music by the J-A-L-N band. Magnet music, that's a UK tune. Okay, because it's got a couple of things I don't know, and that's possibly the, you know what I mean, filler, that's rare, we'll have it. What's that, Beatles, fuck off. Carly Simon, nah, sorry, Carly. Bouquet of Steel, what is this? What? Hello? Human League? What is this? New model soldier? Is this some form of... Wow, I like this. Bouquet of steel. I, it looks very fast product, doesn't it? Okay. I'm not aware of this. is lovely. Foldy out thing. What's on it? I don't know any of this shit. Rough trade, da 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 da, bouquet steel. I want that. I don't know what that is. We're going to have a look at that. Toya. Ah, uh, yeah, we know this. Everyone knows this. What's this now? Rebel music anthology of uh, anthology. My ass. Fuck off. Roseanne Cash. No. Sammy Hagar. Really? This is before or after thing. Jesus. Bizarre. Oh, free tour poster. The poster's been stolen, you know? That's the stones, isn't it? Yeah. Plenty of copies of Emotional Rescue if you need one. Helen Reddy, who was very nice, I suppose, but, you know, Temptations. Power! Struck by lightning twice. Da -da 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 -da. It's a very gory production. So we've got a year on all of this shit. 1980. Okay, very good. Gordon Scheitfoot. No. Saved. Bob Dylan. No. Killer Watts. Oh, right. A metal album. 4 99 for a special double album. Frankie Marino and Mahogany Rush. Really? Ray Gomez, Ted Nugent. Well, it's got Ted Nugent on it. Country Welcome. The Records. Pink military. Do animals believe in God? Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. Never heard of pink military. Ever. I don't feel like carrying that up the stairs just because I've never heard of them. But I know I'll regret that. Oh, fuck it. I'll take it. Bob Marley, yeah, yeah, whatever. The Distractions, Nobody's Perfect. Who are the Distractions then? Steve Penn, Pip Nichols, Mike Finney, Adrian Wright? Not the Adrian Wright. Doesn't look like the Adrian Wright. Don't know what that is. No interest. Thank you. Steve Hackett's Defector. No. Who? Bobby V. Take good care of my compilation album, Hot Wax. Now. Ah, I remember this. 
somebody I knew had this. It's got the corgis, everybody's got to learn sometime. Uh, Peter Gabriel, Rainbow, B.A. Robertson. Wow. Uh, no. Donna Summer, Sunset People. Okay. Taken from the album Bad Girls and Our Love on the Other Side. Well, you know, no. We know it. Immediate Records. The McCoys, Hang On Sloopy, what a tune. And The Nice America, which is a, just a fucking great tune. I loved Immediate Records, you know that? They did some really good stuff. Humble Pie. The, check out Immediate, you know, they, they, they were heavy, they were good, I liked them. Actually, you know what, I'm going to have that because I don't think, I don't think you know um, The Nice in America. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to play it for you. Wop and Boppin' by Roy Reed. Okay. I, I, I think this is pop arty enough for us to take a copy. Something not in a sleeve. Jump to the beat, Stacy Ladislaw? 12 inch? What's on the B side? You don't love me anymore. I think we all know the 12 inch of, of Jump to the Beat, don't we? Have we not had it before or something? Burning Spear. Hail H.I.M. Love Burning Spear. Um, no. Heathen Earth. The Sound of T.G. I don't know what that is. What? Any clues, guys? Rhythms, synthesizers, woo, eight track, uh, Saturday, blah blah. Between something, live audience, industrial records, da -da 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 -da, Chris Carter, Alan Adams. I don't know. Throbbing Grizzle. That's what this is. Oh, right. We'll have that. <laughs> this is going to be bizarre. Jimi Hendrix again. Willie Nelson. Ted Bloody Nugent. If you want some Ted Nugent, buy it on eight track. James White. No. I'm liking this, whatever it is. Touch by... Who? Touch! Oh, that was the name of the band. Hi, guys. Nice hair. I bet they had a van. Um, Nick Jones. Don't know Nick Jones. What is this? Ultravox? What were they doing? This was John Fox Ultravox. Was it factory sample? Not for sale. It is John Fox style. So, Young Savage, Rock with Dangerous Rhythm, Man Who Dies, Slow Motion, Quiet Man, and here's Sean, uh, 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 three into one. What? Really? They had loads of albums by now. Nah. I remember seeing that and not buying it. Extracts from forthcoming hits. Mariana by the Gibson Brothers, Won't Get Fooled Again, Pete Townsend? Rich Girl? Private Life by Grace Jones? Kid Creole? What is this? Extracts? Look at this! Please do not play this side. Please turn over. All right, so this is just little clips from forthcoming singles. Eh. Velvet Underground Live. Jesus Christ. The Beatles rarities, more Beatles crap. Oh, Deep Purple. Last concert in Japan, you say. Smoke, oh yeah. Boring. Metal for the Mothers, Volume 2, Gut Loud, Easy Money, Zero Dark Star, blah blah blah, am I? Yeah. Little River Band, Live, what is this? Every Generation, by Ronnie Laws. And it appears to have, it's 12. We're having it. Alan, no. Gladiators. What? The Gladiators? Albert Griffiths. Da -da 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 -da, lead vote. What? Yeah, I mean, we know Gladiators. There's nothing. Nothing wow about that, really, is there? Who's this? Johnny L? Or Johnny G? Johnny G. <sighs> yeah. I'm not feeling the hair on this. Pete Stripe and John Plain. New guitars in town. Yeah, guitars. Awesome. Jim Cliff album. Andy Fairweather Low. Yeah. Shaka Khan. Naughty. That's oh, clouds is on it. Okay, very good. Johnny Cash, Angel City. What's Angel City? Don't know if I care. Lonnie Liston Smith. Love is the answer? As in, as in love is the answer. 
Oh yeah, we have to have this. Scorpions. Tim Renwick. Okay. Um, Linda... C Whoa! Oh my fucking god! Oh, wow. Oh my god. It's Wonder Woman. I'm gonna have sex with this album sleeve. A lot. Graham Parker, The Bards. Stop. Catch this beat, the rock steady ears. The Ethiopian, Slim Smith, Ken Booth is on it. Okay, it's gonna be kind of, we've heard it all before, isn't it? Steel Pulse caught you. Factory sample not for sale of Steel Pulse, guys. Hello, worth a fortune if you're that kind of guy. It was actually played, so there you go, well done. Yachts without radar. Okay. Bernie Taupin. Isn't he the guy who wrote all that stuff? Toronto looking for trouble? Huh? Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, mm, okay. I wonder what their gig was. Nikki Cousin, Jimmy Fox. Why, why do I know these people? Okay, again, the fair. Moving on. The Passions. Limited edition. Limited edition. I must know. <laughs> Two ninety nine, pay no more. And yet someone addicted and put three ninety nine on it. So the Passions had an album before Film Star. Album. It's on fiction. The fiction. Could even be the first fiction record. No, it was the third fiction record. I kinda wanna hear that because I loved the film star and I, I didn't like the rest of the album though. The Vapors. Uh, turning Japanese by the Vapors. I want to hear the rest of the album that Turning Japanese came from. Cause I'm that kind of guy. Tangerine Dream, yeah, sick of them. Gary Bartz, give it your best shot and music. 12 inch. Yes. Um, don't know what that is. Don't care. Bit of a Elton John vibe on that one. This is 21 at 33. Elton John again, okay. Uh, Roxy, thank you. Peter Gabriel, wired to something. No self-control. Games of Their Frontiers. This is the, this is Biko and Games of Their Frontiers. Wow, I want to hear that because, as you know, Games of Their Frontiers is super awesome, and I've never heard that album. Bob Marley, Could You Be Loved, 12 inch. What do we think? It looks very short. Two tracks on the flip. One drop and ride, Natty Ride. Yeah, I mean... G-Force! <laughs> what? Jet Records. Dancing, hot gossip. Some also great buzzwords there. Oh, here we go. A place in your heart, Sean O'Dowd. Hey, Sean. He does a cover of Love Grows Where My Rosemary Goes. Edison Lighthouse fan? Well done, Sean. No interest in you, though. McCartney 2. Let me just skip past that as quickly as possible. Average white band? Yes, you were. Um, Captain Copter and the Fabulous Twirly Birds by Randy California. Oh, okay. Um... Why am I attracted to this? Oh god, that was close, close, close. Loggins and who? No. I could tell. Fuck yeah, trump card and summer in Dublin. Oh, no way. Okay. So, so this, I believe, is... This is Clark Kent, who were the police, before they were the police. Although, if being 1980, the police already existed. So this is a bit of a cheeky... We have to hear it, because that's, that's, that's interesting. Grateful Dead. I think we can do without that. Ray D.O., Ray Parker Jr., and... So, for those about to... Oh, right, okay. 
yeah, Ray Parker, he's cool. Um, Ted again. No, 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 no. Horrible, horrible, horrible. G Force, nasty, nasty. What's this? The best of Budgie. Yeah, yeah. Blue Oyster Cult album. Uh -huh. Who's this? The what? Live shots. Is that a sticker? No, it isn't. I don't know what this is. The something band. Live in London. Rocky Plumet. Don't know. Ah. Warm leatherette. Wowzers. Nice. Of course, we know it all off by heart. So. Amanda Lear. What was Amanda's gig? Do you think? Rockin' Rollin', I Hear You Nagging. No. And the Eddie Cochran 20th Anniversary Album. Wow. Oh, wow, look! A, a book about Eddie. Right. Um, you know what? That's, that's, that's a good start from 1980. First up, Radio. This is an album. It's on Arista Records. Uh, okay. Let's go. Now I love this tune. Now we all know this. We've used this. So. Don't stop. Okay, got a feeling. Oh, this is a. Oh, it fades out. Ah, well. It's kind of the same old. So, this is Ray Parker Jr. and Radio. So, yeah. Um, well, I mean, the hit was a win, so. I mean, So it was produced by Ray. It's really not always nice. Memories, I can't let her go. Okay. I'm liking this. This is sort of a what's this now? For those who like to groove at the end of the side two. Hold on. So this is sounding like quick, we need another track. Go on there. fairly fairly harmless I'm not hearing anything special in the yeah it's just four and a half minutes long the hit so okay so we did it we, we listened now this is that Clark Kent 10 inch um, and wow what a sleeve check out the sleeve as I stick it on here check my history you know I'm something it ain't easy to be there isn't anyone who I'd rather be don't care if you're really Hang around, don't care, cause I am the neatest thing in town. Don't care if you really wanna stay. So I got a partner of my own. Not sure exactly about the rent. My weekly pay runs so in the heat, I gotta make with the law. That, that does sound like the police. I wanna be rich. I don't It's totally so I think this is The Police Without Sting. It's a 10 inch, it's on A&M, and it's on green vinyl. It's also a bit shit. So nearly the police. Okay, nothing grabbing me on this, but there's a couple of police clones there, which is. Don't care. No, no, don't care. Pointless, isn't it really? But 
really nice uh Nice thing put together, and I mean, this was cash in city because the the the, the police were already massive when this came out. Um, so I think it's 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 yeah, cash in collection of demos, lad. Ah yes, Peter Gabriel's album, which is entitled, what is it? What's it called? It doesn't seem to have a title, but wow, the artwork! Ooh, check out that. Look at this nice color inner sleeve. Charisma Records doing this uh, album right. As a red flag, Cheyenne Shings is blue. They all have hills to fly them on, except for Lin Taiyu. Yeah. Okay. Now that surfaced again, didn't it, on the, on the So Tour or something? I can't remember. But. Okay. I'm a sucker for that. I hate to see your pain, but I don't know how to stop. It's a bit difficult to, to work out what track is what. This is like so proggy. Okay. Yeah. You see, uh, where is Peter's awesome and, and the album is pretty good. Um, I don't know about that. There was one sort of Alan Partridge moment there with a bass solo that I kind of liked. So what will we do? Out of respect, because he's back on tour and he's super fucking awesome. I'm gonna say yeah. We're gonna we're gonna have some Peter. Uh, so this is uh, Gary Bartz with a Z, 12 inch on Arista Records. Give it your best shot on one side. Music on the other. These are kind of suspiciously warning short. They're all about four minutes. So here we go. <laughs> something seductively sleazy about this. Uh, I don't know. Somehow I think Gary didn't give it his best shot on this. That is pointless. Nope. Uh, 1980. So uh, this is the Vapors and Nuclear Days, which is... Oh, right, I get you. Oh, very good, boys. Very good. Nuclear... Yeah, I like that. That's very smart. Um, and this is what now? I suppose you could say it's uh, it's their album. It says Made in Ireland. Hold on, can we get this in here? Of course, I can't waste my time. Anyway, Nuclear Days, the album uh, from The Vapors. So, um... Yeah. There it is. Now, you listen to that all day, but... I think I already did, so... Okay. Yeah. This is 
just kind of this is interesting maybe that's why we But not interesting enough. Okay, B-side of album. This is your man. Okay, so they were the jam, it's obvious. Right. It's a lovely tight drum sound, didn't they? All my time here beside you. Okay, it's a big long track to finish side two, so. Too late. Yeah. These are the passions, Michael and Miranda. It's a limited edition, apparently. You're to pay uh, two ninety nine. No more. Oh yeah, this is the one where someone lied and put a sticker over uh, saying three ninety nine, and it comes with a lyric sheet, and they're looking kind of, they look kind of awesome, and the, the passions were kind of. It looks a bit pissed off, let's be honest. Um, so, Michael and Miranda, The Passions, the album uh, on Fiction Records. Is it? It is, yeah, okay. Okay, I like it. Kind of surfing vibe. Spooky, I mean, so so they were kind of the B 52s, weren't they? Weird little thing at the end. Other side. That's interesting. So this would be right about the time of Film Star, wouldn't it? And that has a lot of elements of it in it. Ah, you know, I mean, there's shitloads of weird new AV 80s stuff out there, and I don't think this is part of that gang. It's Wonder Woman. So this is the Linda Carter album, Linda spelt with a Y. And, oh, shock, this was only taken out of the library once in August 83, but it was put in there in uh, 1980. So, um, oh, my, Linda. Hi, Linds. Linda is just Wonder Woman. Hold on. There you go. If ever, you know, I mean, oh, wow. So this, the printing is pretty poor on the label. So... It is. It's made in the UK, so I'm surprised. Anyway, Epic Records gave her uh, the album release in the UK. Anyway, so. The one. Whoa, oh. Oh, it's, where I be. it's it's very lush, isn't it? Really, I mean, there's a lot of work in this, uh, but it's fucking awful. Everybody here's in the same place, baby. Everybody here's in the same place, baby. Everybody here's in the same place, baby. 
Okay, that's terrible, and I mean really bad. Now, we've had some bad records made by, you know, TV stars from the States, particularly in the 80s and 70s, but this is, this is up there with a load of bollocks that cost a fortune. Lovely and lush, but Linda, you're great, and you, you'll live forever, but you'd live a fuck sight longer if that had been any good. Which it isn't. Go away. Uh, oh, yes, Lonnie Liston-Smith, love is the answer. Okay. I'm on there now. And this is uh, CBS. Okay, Pac-Man label. It's always a good start. Uh, right then. Okay. So... Yeah. My baby. So where's the good bit? Aha. So I think this is Give Peace a Chance, his, his ver- oh, wait a minute, there's some stuff on the record. Okay, it's only a bit of dust. Right. That's kind of cool. That's not. Um, oh, wow. Wait a minute. So this is his version of Love is the Answer. Hang on. Really? Ew, 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 ew. Right, other side. Uh, this is all awesome solid. Bit directionless. Ooh, you porno bass. I like it. I think we have a winner. Okay. Okay, so that's that's. I'm having give peace a chance, right? So there you go. That wasn't what I thought it was on the other side. Um, not bad. So Lonnie Liston Smith. I'm a bit disappointed because you. I was thinking of kind of like MFSB's Love Is the Answer with kind of an expansions version of it. If you, that's what I, that's what the album sold me when I bought it. Sorry, picked it up. Um, we're having it. Good job. Uh, so this is Ronnie Laws. Every Generation, 12-inch single. Let's get a blast on Ron here. As you can see, Ron uh, was wearing a crimpoline suit. Oh, wow. Do you see this? It's kind of like you've got a real sleeve, and it is a real sleeve, advertising other stuff, such as Flame, Friends and Strangers, Pressure Sensitive, and Fever. Oh, they were all his albums. Right, very good. And But then inside it, you've got, ooh, United Artists house bag. Ooh, nice. Anyway. Oh, Jesus. Rise and plant your seed in the early spring. That's terrible. Why? Why? I mean, why? Oh, other side. Oh, Jesus. Now, it is an instrumental of that thing, I think. Every generation. Fuck. Nah, that's more like it. So this is called Outer Be A Law. Okay, I'm, I'm not so keen on his sort of nose flute playing there. Uh, never a fan of the kazoo. Can the world be as sad as it seems? 
asked Throbbing Grizzle in 1980, is it? When they played live. Where did they play live? Hang on, let's get this, let's get this sucker on the deck. Let's see what it does. Uh, duh, duh, duh. This is 26 minutes long, this track, so brace yourselves. So this was recorded um, 16th of February 1980 between 10 past 8 and 9 p.m. in the evening to an invited audience at a studio. I'm sure you'll agree, this is awesome. Industrial Records, and it was the ninth album that Industrial had put out. Really? That's a bit more groovy. Okay, this is more like it. Now, oh, twice before he says. Oh fuck yeah! So this is um ridiculous. That's twenty one and a half minutes long. That track. Um, this is WAP and BAPN. So WAP spelled W H A P N B A P N. And this is Roy Reed. And Roy appears to be lighting a cigarette on the cover of his album, which is uh, a virgin release uh, from 1980. Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah when it comes to little children blowing bubble gum. What? Takes me far, but I prefer to heat them chocolate bar. Hey, Malcolm X, don't get me vexed. I'm the brother's... Okay. There's a lot... What the fuck? Choose a half a bit. So he was lightning rod. Gotta come on, no it's disco rod. Ventilation from early this time. This is... Right away, my own dive for the hem safety me. Whoa. I got my knee for him. He's like, this is, this is awesome. Okay, wait, shh, other side. I know this. I, up in my season, we're retired. So I start to groan and she start to moan. I said, good dad, it can't be me. Like, this is giving to me, don't get chop to me, don't get chop to me, don't get Oh my god! Got a toast and a dash of yeah. Oh, what a win. I want this whole album. Excellent. Uh, this is the intimate st- or sorry, the immediate story, which is uh immediate was a record label that well uh, my dad had immediate records. And they were some of the first um records that I was allowed to play. Well, I wasn't allowed, but I did. So, immediate record label, well, this is the kind of thing they did. Okay, so this is the Hang On Sloopy break for all of those of you that are there who um, collect break beats and stuff. So, here we go. You like this. There, yeah, you loop that. Fucking great. Okay, this is the track I actually want. This is the nice in America. Which I think we'll take. And who believes that my wildest dreams and my craziest dreams will come true? Oh, these beats are fabulous. Check this out. Hold on. Whoa. La, 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 la. 
course, that got mixed in stereo, man. Paradise is half as nice. P.P. Arnold, wow. Maybe not, I don't know. Right? Oh, yeah, at a, at a time. Whoa. Fucking win. This is great. Can we... You know... There's a, there really is like about six or seven bangers on this. This is fabulous. I got an immediate CD uh, in the noughties, which was meant to be the best of immediate. Um, it's forgetful. This is how to do immediate. So we're having that. That's great. Well done. Sweet. Ah, uh, that was sweet. Now, come on. Okay, uh, what, what's this now? Um, pink military. Do animals believe in God? This is an album. Um, it seems to be distributed by Virgin, so... Uh, there's a kind of a go on the sleeve there. Um, it's on Eric's records. I wonder who Eric was. Bob Harding and Tony Bowers produced. So anyway, uh, title track, Do Animals Believe in God Pink Military? Right, here we go. Fucking, it's weird. It is weird shit. Okay. It's a, this is great. It's really, it's pretty short, but. You can see where they were going, really. Um, Warner published it, so someone saw it. Okay. Okay, that. That right there. That's why we do this. Right? Win. Spooky. Meh. Okay, that's good. Just begun. Fucking gold mine. Again. This this is weird. What what is this? We we don't know what this is. This is bouquet of steel, which is kind of I don't know how to put this. It's kind of a foldy out magazine thing. Um, and there's a magazine with it. So let me, let, let's put it on and, and then we'll open the magazine and have a look. So this is an album that came with a magazine in a sleeve, which isn't really a sleeve. It's more like a pocket. So. One more time. So. Once more round. Kind of the mag is all articles Eight. on cool stuff. The discographies and things, but look at this. Right? That's kind of so. It's a compilation. Okay. So. <laughs> awesome. Okay, brilliant. What's that? 
I must name this one. That was musical Janines. And Glenn Miller and his contemporary intimacies meets the musical Janines uptown with a packet of jellies and a Caribbean monolith. That's the title of the tune. Even if it was silence, we'd use it. Was it the night? No idea. Okay. So, so this is struggling new AV, isn't it? Really, it's like. Long track. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so this is brilliant. I don't know what the point of this was. It was all titles published by Baku Music in 1980. So it's some form of um, thing. 20 original soul hits. Soul City. It's very sibilant. Very sibilant Soul City there. I'll lose some top. Uh, this was on KTEL Records. Uh, anyone who's bought anything from KTEL is probably still using it because they just last forever. Everything they did, did. But the bad news is that there are how many tracks on this side? 10. 10 fucking tracks on. on anyway. Yeah, whatever. Temptations, people's choice. Lovely. Curtis. Okay, so this is this is the J A L N band. One of the tracks that I was like, really? I I like it. This is Simon, who did Bra. I don't know if I have this. I'll have to search the stash, but uh, I think we'll... Miracles. Three degrees. And an edit of... You know, it'll fade before the second chorus. Anyway... uh, Unfortunately, it's damaged, but... There it is. Okay. Earth, Wind and Fire. There's an MFSB track here. Sexy. I don't... Why do I not know that? Like... Ew. Ew. Cool and the gang open sesame with vocals? Okay, let's, let's hear the intro. Open sesame! <laughs> okay. I just don't remember there being a vocal on that, but anyway. Oh, no, no. Uh, anyway, so, interesting. Oh, so this is Donny Hathaway live. Well, Donny. Ooh, and it's a lovely. Uh, it's what's what's the color? So here's the hit. Dude, it's like the ghetto. Whoa, this is a live version of the ghetto and it's 12 minutes long. Sold to the guy with the microphone. Now. You got to believe in yourself. Oh, 
lovely. Whoa, voices inside. How long is that? It doesn't say. But there's a huge track at the end here. What is it? It claims this is three minutes long, but it's not. It's like... Let's okay, either that or the ghetto. Uh, this is on RC... Well, mm, it's on Milestone. Uh, but it's in an RCA house bag, which is kind of confusing. Uh, Harlem Boys by Sonny Rollins. And it appears to be the first release on Milestone Records, uh, dated 78. Okay. More kazoo. It's kind of nice and rolling, but again, a bit elevatory. Hold on. Okay. Ooh. All right, so this is... It's some kind of... Some kind of big intro. Hi, and welcome to Jazz Club. Tonight we're joined by a giant spider. This is... That is just great. It's so confident. I love it. Uh, that was called My Ideal. Not so sure about the 24 minutes of everybody warming up at the start. Produced by Aaron Keep News. What an awesome name. O double R I N Keep News. Produce that. Again, even if it was silence, we'd fucking use it. Um, Kid Creole and the Coconuts. Anything on Z Records, by the way, is awesome. Again, even silence. Okay, stuck in the sleeve. Uh, yeah, so... Great. What is this? This is Off the Coast of Me. Uh, an album, so... Okay. Um, seventh, is it? The seventh album on Z? Okay, here we go. Definitely the kid. Okay. Whoa. He was obviously bananas. It's look. I Jesus Christ, did you know that Fonda Ray was a coconut? Ooh. Oh, I like this. Okay, that's ramming speed, that is. What is that? Calypso Pan American. So this looks heavy. Culture, bald head bridge. And, and this is... Obviously reggae. Uh, Joe Gibbs produce it. So this was this was recorded at Joe Gibbs gaff. Uh, oh wow, it's on Laser Records, who we've dug before. So. Move your hand, it a big quad pop. Don't let it stay there full. Run running over. Make way for the poor. He said, move your hand. Yeah. 
Okay. That's kind of that's kind of weird, isn't it? Not really. It's kind of. It was the voice, the voice of the most high. I'm loving it, but it's it's kind of. I'm not. I lied about loving it. So long, Babylon, just a star. I'm a ruler, a long time, we're gonna be a new Long time. Okay, so I see where he was going. This is Sheila and B Devotion's album. Fuck yes. Um, so. Um. <clears throat> Just uh okay, you ready? Okay. It's a short version of that. Then So this was basically chic. Because it's Niall and Bernard. Okay. And some career records. So it, it's amazing how Euro it sounds, given it's them. Ooh. Ooh, yuck. There's something wrong with every track, really. <laughs> the crazy world Hang on. The test of your lips just can't be beat. And you can hear her accent really clearly. I like it. Yeah. This is great. It's like It's got that. You call me. Her voice is crap though, let's be honest. Uh, this is Pierre Morlion's Gong. Um I'm uh, you know, I'm on record as loving Gong. Uh everything Gong did was just awesome. But this is them live, so uh, brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. The whole track is a solo. <laughs> we might have to have that. Okay. Oh, there's the hit. You think I'm kidding? It, it was the hit. Um. Ooh. That's nice. Okay, uh, so lots to choose from there. Um, oh look, inner thing, pictures of the lads. Who was it? Who was involved? Pierre Molion, Hansford Rao, Bon Lazaga, and Francois. What's that? 
Kaus. Oh no, I can't get it back in the sleeve. Mm -hmm. uh, any idea where it was? Doesn't say, blah, blah, blah. Recorded live at Stadium Paris in February 79. So, great. And the last from the 7980 batch that we got. Uh, this is Tom Brown's Love Approach. Yeah, baby. Gatefold sleeve, so he meant business. It's on what? Arista Records, but I've never seen an Arista label like this. This is strange looking. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Right. So it's the album that this came from. Lovely. S solidity. Wow. What's that called? Never mind. No, it's not called Never Mind. I mean, we'll find out later. Lovely. Um. Okay. Ooh. So first track, the first half of this is like that, and then it goes. I like it. Meh. Meh. Yeah, so we kind of ran out of steam there uh, at the end of side one. But, you know, um, yeah. 